The death penalty case against two Indiana teenagers hits a couple of snags today, and it has the state and defense attorneys frustrated. WLKY's Ann Bowden just returned from the Harrison County Courthouse. She joins us now live in the newsroom with the details on the delay. Ann? Well, Colin, Austin Scott, and Kevin Schuler are charged with the murders of 70 year old Gary Henderson and 57 year old Asenath Arnold. The delay in the case involves two key components to this entire trial DNA evidence and the crime scene. There are arguments over both, and it has the state upset. What the state does not want to have happen is this case sit dormant for one or two years. We want to see progress every step of the way, and that's what we're going to push for. Now, DNA evidence, the defense says, had been promised to them by the state crime lab, has still not been provided. That has defense attorney for Kevin Schuler refusing to set any hearing dates for trial. He claims the DNA evidence could very well exonerate Schuler as one of the killers. Schuler and Austin Scott are accused in the brutal beating deaths of Gary Henderson and Asenath Arnold in August of last year. Police called it a deadly robbery of jewelry, money, prescription pills, and firearms. The other issue delaying this capital murder case is the crime scene where it happened, at the home of the couple. The defense attorneys for Schuler and Scott want a walkthrough of the crime scene, but the owner of the estate of Arnold does not want them inside, fearing liability if someone gets hurt on the property during that investigation. As far as trying to prevent us from being able to do it and do our due diligence on a capital case, where there's been two homicides, I think that's a little bit far-fetched and a little bit over the top. Now, Colin, the judge overruled the owner's refusal to allow that walkthrough and said the lawyers will sign a waiver and won't sue if they get injured on the property during that criminal walkthrough of the crime scene, now set for June. The next hearing to set dates for a trial is also set for June, and the judge said whether the DNA evidence is there or not, dates will be set. Live in the newsroom, Ann Bowden, WLKY News.